If you go to church, you don't go to church simply be, not because you have to. You don't go to church because you want to. Uh, and but as far as bullying other kids around, and then you're not gonna bully no more. You're not gonna wanna bully nobody no more. You won't wanna do those things no. You won't wanna bully nobody around no more because of our relationship, because of your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, you're not going to want to bully nobody no more. That's all going to change. You're going to be, you're going to want to be very good to other people, to, to the other kids. You won't do a things anymore, not because uh, you have to, but because you don't want to commit no more sins. And you're going to find yourself going to church and doing the right things. You're going to do all the right things. And not because you have to, but because you want to. When Jesus comes in, when he, there was a lot of things that I did that were sinful. And things that were evil, I used to do a lot of sins. I used to commit a lot of sins, okay? That is true. I used to commit a lot of sins before I gave my life to Christ. Before I made Christ my Lord and Savior, I used to commit a lot of sins. And I really have fun doing it. I had such fun that I would keep doing those things over again and keep committing even worse sins. Why I was having so much fun in my sins. You know, I, I didn't want to stop saying that. All I, I wanted to do those things and do them even better, I thought. But when I finally gave my life to Christ, but when I meet Christ, Lord, that my life, my Lord, the Savior, next thing you know, I didn't want to commit those sins no more. And I wanted to start doing the right things. I wanted to start reading the Bible and praying and going to church and returning back to Christian principles. I wanted to repent. And that's because I gave my life to Christ. I made Jesus the Lord of my life. And that's why it makes Jesus your Lord, make him your savior. He will lead you away from step like slander, man. He will, but then Jesus will open your eyes to the truth. Then you will see the truth for yourself just as it is. You will see the truth just as it is. You will see the truth. Jesus will make you see the truth. Help make you see all the things that you thought were fun, like bullying and internet bullying. Help make you see that those things are not fun. Those are sins, and they're not fun. And Jesus, well, he will, everything will change. The things that you used to like that were wrong, you won't like them anymore. You'll hate them. You won't do those bad things, those evil things no more. Jesus come in your heart and in your life and he changes everything. He changes everything. He makes all things new. He makes the bad things. He, 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 he makes, he makes every, all things new. He'll wipe away every tear from thy eye. He will make the crooked places straight down, even places even. He will make all things good. All the things, uh, he will make all things good. 
You know, make Jesus the Lord day like, what can I say? I can't really say it. It's like an April in Paris. I can tell you what the April in Paris is. You want to know what the April in Paris is like? You have to go there. And then when you come back, you can say, I see what you mean. So you know something? Just make Jesus Lord there. Like, pray for your heart. Just say, Jesus, I'm a sinner. I've sinned. Jesus, I know you died on the cross for me. I know you shed your blood for me. Jesus, I receive you now. I ask you to come into my heart, be my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, be my Lord, be my Savior of my life. I give my life to you. Jesus, I make you a Lord of my life. I said you on the throne number, I give you my life. Jesus, give me your life. Come live it within me. Come live in my heart for eternity. Lord Jesus, you are my, I accept you as my Lord and God. You are my Messiah. Lord Jesus, I cry out to you because I'm fed up with this sinful life. I want to live a brand new life in you, Christ. I know you died on the cross for me. You shed your blood for me. And I thank you for what you did. And just give Jesus your life. Offer him your life. Offer him yourself. Give your life to Jesus. Give Jesus yourself. Give Jesus your heart. Make him Lord of your life. He will lead you away from sin. He will lead you into holiness. As someone in the church, a Christian pastor, get the hold of a Christian pastor. Watch shows like Jack Van the P presents on TV, Jack Van the P Ministries.